Okay, another day in Around on a Bikes base camp. Welcome, welcome. So I put the exhaust on here because I want to mark the uh, uh, where they meet so that I can make this uh, wrap it with a bandage and uh, get all the fittings on the right place. So uh, yeah, now I just take it off again and then I'll wrap it. thing to wear gloves because this one can be a little bit uh, sticking into your fingers you know it's like that anyway so before we wrap we soak this in water and I'm just loosening this up a little bit here to get the water in between the layers and you see, I chosen this color for the reason that I just think it looks cool. And uh, yeah. So just put this down here in the water and let it soak for a bit. While that is soaking, uh, I got this with the uh, uh, with it in the kit, and it's uh, stainless steel wrappers. There are four of them, which is good because I want to have two in the beginning, two, two in the beginning and two in the end. And we will start wrapping from the back here and then up around the bend and up to the uh, cylinder. Reason for that is that uh, if you wrap it the other way around, you will have all the, uh, the edges on, onto the wind and you will, it will collect dirt and, and the water and everything if it's raining or whatever. So if we start here, we will have those in the back and I will at least minimize the collection of crap. I think this looks like it's soaked. And as I don't know exactly how much I gonna need, I'm gonna have to just work with the whole roll, but I think I'll be okay. Uh, also, I think that I'll have enough of this wrapping, the bandage, to use also on the Honda CB650C that I'm doing uh, later on. We'll see. Maybe I'll use it there. Maybe not. So, but now I have I have enough anyway. So the uh, the bandage has been soaking for a while, and now I've lined up the uh, what I marked over there before on the bike. So now we start uh, the process of uh, wrapping it. Double check that we're in line here. Yeah, like so. Uh, first we put one full lap around. Make sure that it's fairly tight there. And um, then I'm gonna go about a quarter in. Uh, and as I have left the first bit free here, I'm putting one of those uh, steel ties around. Like so. Keeping it in place. And this one, I now pull 
so it keeps it in place but I will later on tighten that even more All right make sure we get it tight and nice as it's wet now it's uh, it's gonna be even better once it dries. Trying to get as even as I can here each lap. Like so. Then I put the second one here. When I reach the bend here, I put them the, each lap a little bit tighter, so you have space for the outer outer uh, waist longer than the inner inside. So a little bit tighter between laps. When I come up to the point where I'm happy, I will cut this off so I have a little bit to work with and then fold the last bit in double before I put the tie wrap on. I use a plastic tie wrap just to keep it in place while I'm cutting. So I don't have to use the, the uh, steel ones. And now I'll cut this one off and fold it in. Right, it's time and I have done as they do in the cooking programs. I have prepared a little bit here. So it should be uh, pretty straightforward. Depending on obviously my skills. <laughs> Last time when I did this, I noticed that it was a little bit difficult to get this one to sit tight. So, 
I got a rubber to put in between here. It's just gonna make that the right thickness and then this is gonna be easier to smoothly adjust, I hope. So it's Christmas time again in the base camp. At two, no, 1.55 yesterday I ordered this and today I got it like four o'clock and it's a, um, it's a switch for the brake light and this bike, the Fram, is from 51 so that's before brake lights were obligatory or mandatory however as there is a brake light in the tail light i want to have it working so i'm going to put this little switch in to make it operational so here is the plus i'm just going to put the cable with tie wraps like this up to the uh, headlight also, I have another cable coming here, going back to the, um, to the rear light. And then we're also gonna try to put this, um, uh, the switch for the brake light. So, should be, should work fine, I think. Uh, just trial and error, I suppose. is where to put this and I'm thinking that if I put it here it will be the least in the way uh, also I need to get the cable and attach it so that's not a problem really but I need to find where it's running freely I think it's going to have to be in the back here because if I put it further in front it will be too cramped but here should be okay. guessing this is the earth so I have I have my uh, charger which I can switch to 6 volt which I have done we put the earth there on the minus guessing that's the right one and here should then be the tail light and I'm guessing that's correct and here, brake light. Yeah. 
tail, break, tail, break, tail, break. Yeah, just in the other way around. You see, there is no difference, which means this is the tail light, this is the brake light. Okay, now in theory, we should be able to do the same thing here with the headlight. Oh, don't you just hate those kid safe things? It's like. Oh, there you go. And in order to make this really cool, I'm going to switch the light off. So, we connect the minus to the earth there, and then we connect the plus to one of these. Look at that, nice amber light. If we then attach the next one, we have, right, so which one is which there? So yellow one is half beam, and the red one is full beam. Right. Looks good, huh? If you like my videos, please feel free to hit that like button and don't forget the little bell symbol right next to it so you get your notifications. If you like to get some uh, stickers or maybe postcards from my trips, why don't you go and join the Around on a Bike community? Just follow the link to my Patreon page uh, underneath here and you will find yourself soon absorbed in the splendid adventures of a round on a bike.